mayor from Paducah has fond memories of Fort Defiance Park. Today, she brought her friend to the historic area so the pair could admire the meeting of the mighty Mississippi and Ohio rivers. It was just a beautiful place to come and it was cool, even though it was warm, it was still cool to be down here and to listen to the rivers and everything else. It was just really a neat place. This is not the place Karen remembers. I was just devastated when I came down here and saw how the, the mud is just cracked. There's debris all over there, all the driftwood and, and just everything and nothing has been mowed or nothing has been taken care of. I spoke with city officials who tell me they are responsible for the maintenance here at Fort Defiance. They say the driftwood is the result of the rise and fall of the river, but they provided no explanation as to the condition of the rest of the park. As we gathered the last of our video, Cairo Mayor Judson Childs arrived at the park. Following Childs, some visitors. I'm going to have to ask you all to leave right now, and it should be closed. I, I don't know who opened the gate, but it should not be open. Child says no one was supposed to be in the area, and the chains keeping the gate closed had been cut. He also told me he expected the river to rise again. Okay, so is that why the park in late June has not been maintenance yet? You know, you, 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 you're making me feel that I'm on trial. I am not on trial. I'm okay. Simply asking so you at this point, sir. at this point, I'm asking you to leave. Okay. The gates to Fort Defiance were immediately chained and locked. In Alexander County, Rachel Gartner, News 3.